Oh yeah. Okay, so for the first part of the test, I decided I was good. For the first for the first part of the test, I decided to take the test while sitting down, like, answer my ABC questions. <laughs> get them all right. Get them as good as I could. Get that A. <laughs> get the dub. Whatever. <laughs> so bad. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah Axel, and if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> and today, I am actually doing a video that my friend kind of suggested to me to do, but more so my video. Whatever. She told me to do a story time. We're going to do my story time of the time I peed my pants, and um, high school, <laughs> yeah, my junior year of high school to be exact, which was really embarrassing for somebody my age, because I think I was 17 at the time, and 17 year olds can usually make it to the bathroom, so what was I thinking, right? So, this is literally the shortest story ever, so I'll probably give you more <laughs> story time within the story time so I guess this can be the first one out of two I give you two story times and then yeah when I was a junior in high school I was on the cheer team and to be exact the varsity cheer team which if you wanted to be on the cheer team you had to have good grains of course <laughs> and knowing me I wanted to stay on this cheer team for some odd reason so I kept the good grades that I got. And so I had lunch before this period that I was about to go into, like my class, my next class. And as I was eating lunch, I wanted to study for my test next class because I wanted an A and I wanted to get a hundred. And I thought I would just be smart to hold it instead of, you know, actually going to the bathroom. So I decide to study for the test the entire lunch period and as soon as I get to class and we start taking this test I literally am sitting in my chair like oh shit <laughs> I literally have to go to the bathroom and little did I know <laughs> I really had to go to the bathroom so there was two parts of the test. One was you had to sit down and take a multiple choice test, and then the second part was you had to go stand in the back of the class where all these like different ta giant tables were to do labs and stuff at. And of course, I did the first part of the test first instead of you know second. So I took the writing portion. So I was fine the entire time sitting down. And after I get done with the writing portion and sitting down. <laughs> I stand up and soon realize that I need to go to the bathroom. And so I asked to go to the bathroom. And I really can't hold it. Like I can, I'm seriously like about to sprint to the bathroom like because I feel that bad. And my teacher looks at me and goes, you had lunch before this. You should have went to the bathroom before this. Sorry, you can't go. And I'm sitting there like, oh, well, okay, I'll just go take part B of my test now, the writing portion. And part B of the test was on cats. So we literally had cat bodies that were cutting open and like looking inside of, what is it called? Whatever, you get it, anatomy. I was in anatomy. So we had to know where the muscles of the body were inside the cat which it had like sticks in each muscle and it said A, B, C, or D and we literally had to we had the paper that said all the muscles and then put A, B, C, D in each category and as I'm going through this test I'm looking down at my cheer uniform my white cheer uniform and I realize my leg is getting really warm and it's not cat juice. 
No. It's me going to the bathroom because I couldn't hold it anymore. And it was just coming out. So as I'm literally peeing down my leg, taking this test in my white chair uniform where the whole class could see me, there was luckily a door literally right next to where I was at and luckily the cat was sitting right here and I knocked it over by accident and when I did that there was a girl standing there and she was looking at me and she goes go out the door go out the door like she's trying to tell me like run out the door but meanwhile I have tears running down my face I'm crying like a little bitch because I just beat my pants in front of the whole class and I don't even realize like there's a door next to me so I think my life is over and I look at her and I see that she's telling me there's a door and I look over and luckily like it's not a door that you push open luckily it was just already open so I ran out that door and <laughs> as I run out that door my teacher runs out behind me and goes oh my god what happened and I told her what happened and I just start crying and I'm crying and she goes oh my god I'm so sorry I should have let you go to the bathroom and yeah little to say let's hope like every year she let somebody go to the bathroom when they ask no matter what now because I was that person that peed their pants in her class so and on top of that she just told the class that like the cat juice spilled all over me and she had to send me to the nurse's office to change my clothes. But no, I literally went home and did not come back. But I literally had a basketball game that night that I needed to cheer at. So I had to go and clean my uniform really fast and come back for the basketball game later. And of course, the girls that were in my class, the one that told me to go sit outside or go out the door, was there and she was sitting in front of me with her friends and they were pointing and laughing at me and making fun of me and needless to say I went home that game and didn't show my face for a while because that was so embarrassing and I was rude so fuck that girl fuck you bitch <laughs> fuck your friends I hate <laughs> um but yeah that was my I peed my pants in <laughs> my junior year of high school story and I hope you enjoyed it and now for my second story. Thanks to my friend Gabby for giving me the idea of this story time. It, it's um, not one that I remember very well, I would have to say. Um, but let's just say um, freshman year of college was some new experiences that I've never experienced before. I guess that would be why they're new. <laughs> So, Gabby invited me to come to a party with her one night because we both didn't have to work and just wanted to go out and party. And so I decided to go. <laughs> and I decided it was going to be fun and great. Yeah, <laughs> my first, like, real college party. Well, we get there and this house is literally, like, full full to the max like you're literally like squeezing against sweaty bodies that are trying to squeeze against other sweaty bodies just to walk around the house like this is there's too many people in this house like people did not realize that like enough was enough but clearly my friends didn't either so we make our way to the backyard and I see that <laughs> there's people like smoking over by the little pool area if there was a pool I don't even remember I think there was like a gate and then it just looked like there was a pool in it and people were like over there smoking and there was people like chugging bottles of course whoever bought their own bottles and then there was other people doing whatever talking with each other and me and my friends are standing there and I look behind us and <laughs> and I see um I see some giant kegs, like, full of beer, you know, and I'm not one for beer, like, I'm not a beer person, so at first I was like, uh, not my thing, like, I don't care, and then, soon enough, I was like, wait, hold up, this is like a competition for people <laughs> to stand and chug some, and chug some beer on a keg, <laughs> like, I'm so competitive that I looked at this and I told my friends, 
I'm fucking doing that. Like, I'm doing that shit right now. Like, if I don't get my ass over there, I'm going to regret it. So I need to get over there and start chugging this beer out of this keg. And I'm wearing flowy shorts. Like, I have a video of me. I'll, I'll put the video in after, and I'll show you guys. But I'm wearing, like, flowy blue shorts. And... <laughs> That's the thing I was nervous about. I was like, I don't want people to see my butt. I don't want my shorts to go up. I don't want to, be sh <laughs> you know, I didn't want to show people like this, the other side of me that like is supposed to stay covered. <laughs> so I literally go up to the boys that are like holding the people for the keg, and <laughs> I look at I look at one of them and I'm like, I just I don't want my shorts to like go up you know and he goes suck it up <laughs> and grabs my legs and throws me on this keg and I'm literally like in my head I was like all right I just need to beat this number I need to beat this guy I need to beat the boy that was in front of me because you know what I'm the only girl that's done this tonight and I'm going to beat the boys and so I get out there and I'm literally like I'm chugging this beer and I hate beer and I couldn't believe I was doing this and I'm literally like, chug, chug, chug. And in my head, I'm like, <gasps> I'm dying. I can't breathe. All the blood is rushing to my head. I'm chugging at the same time. I can't get airflow in my body, but I need to keep going because you know what? This is a contest, and I'm going to win, <laughs> and no one's going to beat me. So as I'm sitting there and I'm chugging, I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded. So I realize, like, I need to tap the keg and be put down but I don't do that <laughs> I don't pass out either but like so I keep going and then I beat the number ahead of me and then I go like three more chugs ahead just so like I'm confident that I'll be at the top spot and as I get put down I literally have so many people screaming and like cheering and I literally felt like the biggest winner after that and yeah, that was really the keg story, and that's really all I got. Also, someone did beat me after, but, like, I think it took a couple of tries, so good job to whoever beat me by, like, two. Congratulations, because that was hard, and that was tough. <laughs> but, yeah, those are my story times. I have more story times that I would like to share, but I don't know how appropriate they are. But I might just do it anyway because you know, gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just kidding. Um, but whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So you should give it a thumbs up, and you should subscribe to me, and you should share this video with your friends, with your family. Let people know how fun it is to pee your pants when you're a junior in high school, and don't do drugs. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, bye. Let's get it, Hannah! Woo! And for the first time, I can't. to get the the so we had to get um um so we had to know